Welcome back. An excessive heat warning has been issued for parts of Arizona. Just last year, the extreme heat led to the death of at least 2300 people in the US. Robbie Reynolds has more. Those heat victims were largely concentrated in three states, Arizona, Texas and Nevada, with the impact stretching from Florida to California and as far north as New York and Wisconsin. And this year, temperatures are also running warmer than average. This map shows which cities had a hotter than average May. For the first time, we're seeing where climate change had the biggest impact on those temperatures. Climate Central applied their climate shift index to separate the changes in daily weather from how fossil fuels are making our planet hotter. For May, the dark red dots show the strongest connection to climate change along the Gulf from Florida to Texas. Climate Central also says some of the most impactful changes are happening at night. Nighttime warming uh, is a fact just about everywhere, and that has a really important health consequence, right? It's, you know, you don't get an opportunity to cover from the heat of the day. You know, we know that we can open the house up at night, turn the fans on, and you get the cold air in there. But if it's still hot outside, that's it, one of the things that can turn an environment from one where you don't need air conditioning into one where you really do need it. And we have a lot of places in the country where they haven't needed air conditioning, and we're, we're, we're definitely pushing them into conditions where that is something that they need.